Let's get on to the Olympic Games now and Australia's performance in Paris is being hailed as our greatest Olympics ever. Certainly we've won more gold at these games than ever before and we finished fourth behind the much more populous nations of the USA, China and Japan and we beat France. Also about three times our population, we even beat the host nation into fifth place. So to help put it all into perspective, I caught up with Olympian Nova Peris, who was a gold medalist in hockey from Atlanta and reckons this Olympic team deserves all the accolades it gets. Yeah, it, it was absolutely brilliant. And as a woman, as a mother, um, to see so many females take gold and, you know, get up on that dice is just incredible. And whilst we're comparing this games to Sydney, which is, you know, one of our, or the most successful, we had 630 athletes in Sydney as opposed to only 461 athletes at this um, Olympic. So it just goes to show that with less people, we've certainly punched well above our weight. And uh, it was just so many incredible memories for me. Um, out of all of the Olympics, you know, I, I just, the, the, the Fox sisters, Nina yeah. Kennedy, I cried in that. That was, she was historical for uh, track and field. She became our first ever field events Olympic gold medalist taking out the gold in the, uh, in the pole vault. But who could also forget our amazing little pocket rocket, Jessica Hull, taking out silver in the 1500, which was also historical for us. Yeah, it's interesting you say that because I think Anita Kennedy's goal in the pole vault speaks for itself and was absolutely brilliant. But yeah, if it, I don't think Australia's ever won a better silver than Jess Hull in the 1500 metre. You know, it's just such a blue ribbon event, so hotly contested around the world and, and over the ages. And for her to be there right there at, uh, at, at, at world pace and getting the silver is fantastic. She's 27. Does, is, is she going to be able to go for gold in four years' time? I think so. Well, the athlete she came second to, Faith uh, Kip Yegan, who uh, that was her third um, 1500 Olympic gold medal, and yeah, she's, she's just a, world a legend record holder. She broke the world record going. Oh, she was phenomenal. So someone like Jess knows that if she can come second to the one of the greatest 1500 metres ever, absolutely she could be eyeing off a world record and we could see the tides turn come the LA Olympics where our young Jess Hull could pick up gold in that 1500 because I, I don't think Faith will be around for another four years, but I could be wrong, but yes. I reckon it's, uh, it'll be a calling for Jess Hull. Yeah, look, I think in the context, no one would want to take away anything from this Paris performance. It's fantastic. But for context, it's worth recording that if we were to equal our 1956 Melbourne Olympics percentage of gold medals, we would have won 28. So there are more than, there are about double the sports and double the events on offer now uh, compared to 1956. So we've just got to remember that context. But, but also in terms of context, you mentioned the swimmers as well. The girls in the pool were fantastic. Kayleigh mm. McEwen and Molly O'Callaghan and Ari Titmus and, and Cam McAvoy got a gold for the blokes there as well. The, I, I think the stunning, the stunning result here is on the medals tally, we finished above France, the host nation, a, a nation with a proud sporting record. To, to finish above them in, in fourth place is just incredible. Yeah, absolutely. And and like for Australians, I mean, we are a nation of sports lovers, but even like going back to the, the per capita, Chris, when you look at, you know, we've got one gold in 1.4 million Australians. When you look at China, there's um, the, the population there, they've got one gold per 56 million. USA, one gold per 12 million. So when you look at our tiny little population, against, you know, everywhere else, it is just phenomenal of what we've had to do. And the exciting thing is, obviously, we've got Los Angeles, the next Olympics, but we've got a home Olympics, which is just eight years away. Yeah. So all these young kiddies who are 13, 14 year olds now watching our Olympians, you know, excel the way that they did. And it was just, it took us all on an emotional roller coaster. Like I, I remember watching uh, Naomi Fox when her gold and her sister Jess when she jumped into yeah. the water, and I was um, I was do <laughs> I was doing that on stand, and I was crying. I was yeah. It's it's that's a beautiful thing with sports. It it brings us together, but it allows our next generation to see something, to witness it, and then our young kids have the ability to to dream big as well.
Yeah, brilliant stuff. Uh, just fantastic. And yeah, thinking ahead, two games time in Australia, in Brisbane, uh, that's just going to be superb.